What happens when a time traveller does things in the past that prevents him from doing them in the first place? We have a true paradox here. If we could travel back in time and kill a famous person in history before they become famous, the person would never become famous, meaning we would have no reason to go back to change time in the first place. Therefore we never travel back to change time and the person would once again become famous, meaning we would have to go back in time. This forms a continuous paradoxical time loop. The theory explained in this video gives us a deeper understanding of time as a physical process, explaining that time travel into the past is not possible within the laws of physics, therefore there is no paradox. But in this theory, time travel into the future is not just possible, but is a natural process within our universe, and that there is a possibility UFOs might be from our own past. This idea might sound mad, but it can be based on Einstein's theories of relativity. In special relativity, moving clocks run slower, and in general relativity, clocks run faster, higher in a gravitational field. Therefore, we can see that the greater the energy of an individual reference frame, the slower time runs within that reference frame. This is called time dilation, and it is totally natural process within our universe. A good example of this is the twin paradox, a thought experiment of identical twins, one of whom is an astronaut and the other stays at home. The astronaut brother undertakes a long space journey, moving at almost the speed of light, while the other remains on Earth. When the travelling brother finally returns to Earth, it is discovered that he is younger than his sibling. This experiment could be turned around, and instead of using the energy for travelling in space, it, it could be used for the effect of time dilation itself. In this way, we could use time dilation to travel into the future. There, there are videos on YouTube that suggest that the Germans were developing time machines in the 1940s. I find this very hard to believe, because the technology would be beyond them. But if time machines were developed in the 1940s, it could explain the UFOs we have seen in our skies since then. For the pilots and passengers in the reference frame of such a machine, a 10 or 20 minute flight would represent 10 to 25 years in a reference frame on the surface of the Earth. A flight of a few hours could represent thousands of years. They would be able to look down, seeing the Earth spinning at a faster and faster rate, seeing the collapse of the Soviet Union and the rise or fall of great civilizations. In fact, for the passengers of such a machine, time would only be relative to the energy of the machine itself. The rest of this video is going to explain a theory on the physics of time that is based on Einstein's theories of relativity and on a deeper understanding of quantum physics. This theory explains a creative process that is on a level with the destructive process of atomic physics. In this theory, the quantum of quantum mechanics is a unit of energy that we see and feel as the flow of time itself. Time is continuously being formed, photon by photon, by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light waves of electromagnetic radiation, a process of continuous change, continuous energy exchange, forming the future uncertainty of everyday life. This uncertainty can be seen mathematically as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum physics. This might sound mad, but the probability function that forms the uncertainty principle also forms the movement of electric charge, forming the flow of electric current with electrical potential. In this theory, electrical potential and the individual's future potential are the same within their own reference frame. The most advanced part of this universal process is in the form of electrical activity 
in the brain being able to comprehend and measure this process as the flow of time with a past and uncertain future. This process is totally universal and interactive from the largest object to the smallest creature right down to the smallest element of the periodic table will slow the rate that time flows forming a curvature of space-time relative to its own energy or mass. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic light waves continuously. This forms a great dance of energy exchange forming a process of spontaneous and continuous change that we see and feel as the aging process and as the flow of time itself. In this theory gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. Objects just free fall towards the greater mass or energy because it has the slowest rate that time flows. The second law of thermodynamics falls out of this theory. The organization for the spontaneous disorganization of entropy is formed by the spherical symmetry of the quantum wave particle function. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms the flow of time with photon energy cascading down forming greater degrees of freedom for the flow of entropy. We have an infinite number of reference frames within our universe and because light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent each object or observer will have their own reference frame with their own future uncertainty as time unfolds photon by photon. Therefore an observer can look back in time at the beauty of the stars in all directions from the center of their own reference frame. This is because they are forming their own space-time by collapsing the waves of light into new photon oscillations forming their own future potential. An artist will take energy and time to create a work of art because the atoms of the hand and eye have bonded together forming the movement of electric charge creating their own potential future. Creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder in this theory.